part of being a good well-rounded traveler in my opinion is being aware and informed of the new places you are going to whether it's true learning the spoken language learning about customs history or good manners in this episode i'm going to share with you some words and phrases that you should know before traveling to the beautiful state of alaska Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. This way you can help us help other people learn more about Alaska. Number one, Alkan. Alkan is short to Alaska and Canada Highway. This famous highway runs through Canada and connects Alaska with the lower 48. It's a 1,523 mile highway that runs from Dawson Creek, British Columbia to Delta Junction in Alaska. Number two, Alyeska. Alyeska is an elute word that means the great land or the mainland. It's also the name of Alaska's largest ski resort located 40 miles south of Anchorage in the town of Girdwood. Number three, Shugash. The Shugash people gave their name to Shugash National Forest, the Shugash Mountains, and Alaska's Shugash State Park in South Central Alaska. By the way, this state park is so beautiful. It has so many beautiful hiking trails and it's very diverse in wildlife. Number four, the Kenai. You will hear a lot of people talking about Kenai Peninsula, Kenai Fjords National Park, Kenai River. The Kenai refers to the peninsula south of Anchorage bound by Cook Intel, Prince William Sound and the Gulf of Alaska. As far as the meaning of Kenai, a lot of people say that in the Native American language, it translates to flat land. Number five, Denaina. The Denaina are the people who inhabited the south central region of Alaska. The Denaina Civic and Convention Center is named after the Denaina people. Number six, Denali. Denali National Park. This beautiful name that means the high one or the Great One is the name given to the highest and tallest mountain in North America, Denali Mountain, standing at an elevation of 20,320 feet and one of the seven summits. Number seven, lower 48. A lot of people from Alaska will refer to the remaining US states that are not Alaska or Hawaii as the lower 48. Sometimes they will even use the phrase or the term outside with big O to refer to any place that's outside of Alaska. Number eight, snowbird. Snowbird is a term used to refer to a person who lives in Alaska but flies south for the winter, dodging the harsh winter months. On the other hand, a sourdough is a person or someone who lives in Alaska full time, embracing all of the seasons, all of the months, all of the years. <laughs> the person who rides a dog sled team either competitively, which is a big thing in Alaska, or recreationally. is Alaska's official state sport and an important mode of transportation in Alaska, especially during winter. Number 11, snow machine. Snow machine is just a different way to say snowmobile. Number 12, chichaco. Ch chichaco. I'm having a hard time saying it too. <laughs> This is what you would call someone who is new to Alaska or a newcomer to Alaska. This is kind of equivalent to the term green horn. Number 13, forget me nuts or scorpion grasses. This is Alaska's state flower. These tiny flowers grow low to the ground and they are recognized by their bright blue petals surrounding a yellow eye forget them nuts. Number 14 and the last word phrase on the list is break up. Break up is the end of an Alaska winter when the ice thaws and breaks up. Alaskans joke about having a breakup season between winter and spring when the snow begins to melt. And these are some of the words and the phrases that I have for you today. If you are from Alaska or you live in Alaska, what are some of the words that we outsiders should be aware of? Let us know in a comment. I hope you guys found this episode or this video to be useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. My name's Habiba, this is Tracking Pals, and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.